Well, tomorrow is the homecoming parade at UL, and this is the first year the Black Student Union will have a float in that parade. Erin Griffin has more on the story. This year is the first year the Black Student Union will be part of the homecoming parade. Members created a float that will showcase its groups and leaders. It will feature members of the National Organization for Minority Architecture Students, National Society of Black Engineers, and Louisiana Educate Program. Student leaders say they are happy to have this opportunity. I'm really excited that we all get to be here on this float. It's an opportunity for our black student leaders to unite and create that sense of unity for all our other students here on campus. We are mentors for them. So, you know, for our general body members and everyone else here on campus to look up to us, it is a, a monumental moment for all of us. On our float, people will see different black leaders from around the campus uh, unified together to celebrate the homecoming. Um, and it's basically people from different walks of life celebrating something that we all have in common. The UL Black Student Union put a plan together five years ago to be in this year's homecoming parade. Now members can finally celebrate their success. In Lafayette, Erin Griffin, KATC TV3. Parade rolls at 1.30 tomorrow. After the parade, be sure to stick around Cajun Field for the game against South Alabama. Kickoff for the game is slated at 4 o'clock. And if you haven't heard, Rob Perillo is the Grand Marshal for this year's parade. It's starting at 1.30, as I mentioned, at Blackham Coliseum, then heading down Reinhardt Drive to Cajun Field. And if you're interested in other things that are happening ahead of homecoming, go to KTC.com.